Hello, KTA Tiger. Hello, Mr. Tilly. Hello, Tigers. Everybody, today is Tuesday, April 12th, and it's going to be a great day at KTA. A big shout out to our third and fourth graders doing their best on their tests today. I know you're going to do great. And fifth grade, I know you did awesome yesterday and everyone last week that was testing. Fantastic. Well, I have a great share from fifth grade, Mr. Tilly. Yay. We are excited. Yeah, after they finished their testing recently, Miss um, Miranda had some great activities lined up for her fifth graders, and they were building these really cool towers. This was a STEM engineering activity, and they were um, patterning off of some very, very famous towers. So down in that right-hand column, I see some students building with those yellow materials at pipe cleaners. I'm not sure exactly, but they were trying to build that off, um, off of the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. And so they were using different kinds of materials. They were working as collaborative teams, and they were using some really cool examples uh, to see how tall they could get those towers. So way to go, uh, Ms. Miranda, way to go, fifth grade. Thank you for that great share. Yes, thank you. A shout out also to all of our students who are just featured in the district art show um, that opened virtually yesterday on Monday, April 11th. It is going to continue to be open Thursday till Thursday, June 30th. So you have many, many days, months even to be able to enjoy all of the art that is featured there. So there's a link. Um, it went out in your Tiger Times and you can click on it. It's also if you go to the Kyrene website is featured as a click um, and you can just click there and go enjoy the art. So I can't wait to see all of the amazing art that was done with Miss Albers. We know she does such a good job in that art class. Absolutely. So. And this way you can share it with family and friends that live out of state. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, I know a lot of people have uh, grandmas and grandpas, aunties and uncles and other family members. This would be a great thing to share and they can see what we do in our schools here in Kyrene. Yes. Congratulations. This is this friendly, smiling face is Lucy Abel. She won as the um, best eighth grade poem in the district wide poetry contest. So congratulations. Yay. Big so applause for Lucy Abel. Her poem will be featured at the governing board meeting in a couple weeks, and it will be featured in the book that they publish of all of the poems. So Lucy will be a published author very soon. Way to go, Lucy. And we will have her, um, I believe, read on announcements so if, if she'd like to, uh, or we can read it for her and we will all get to hear her award-winning poem. Yes, we will. I will talk with you soon about that, Lucy, about how you would like to do that, but we would love to feature it on announcements. And a big shout out to Fernando. He is one of our middle schoolers. He competed in a track uh, tournament or meet um, over the weekend, and he did amazing. Look at those medals around his neck. So Fernando, great job. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and practice to do any sport, and it looks like you're doing very well at it. So congratulations to you. Nice we are proud of you. Last week, Ms. Tilly, I got to go to the Marimba Cats, our KTL Yay. Marimba Cats, and they had a lovely program last week under the direction of Miss Bull. And I think we have a little clip of their program. We do. Here it is. And I was listening to this and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. That's a lovely song. But as I listened, then I recognized it. So I'm going to challenge everybody, listen and see if you can identify where the song is from. It's a memorable tune. Do you have a guess? I'm sure Dr. Lesher knows what that song is from. Do you want to tell him, yes. Dr. Lesher? That's from Jeopardy, right? Yes, Jeopardy yes. Play when they're trying to think of the right answer, they play mm, that song thinking, in the thinking. background. Yes, very cute. So great job, Mallet Masters. You do an awesome job. And so does your director, Mrs. Bull. That was awesome. Excellent. Way to go, Marimba Cat. Nice yes. job. Yes. All right, friends. Well, we, I have some great news. I really some surprising news. So our hygiene drive is still going on. It goes April 4th till the 22nd. So we still have a little bit of time to bring things. But let me look at my little sticky note here. I wrote it down. 
guess how many things that we have brought in? I thought, oh, maybe 20, 30. Like that would be nice if we had a nice little bag full of stuff. We have already collected over 298 items. That is wow. amazing. Amazing. Yes. Fantastic. That is. That really is. Well, we kept telling you when we started talking about it that if every person just brought one thing, that would be so many things. So That's it sounds right. like every person or many people have brought their one thing. Um we're almost half of our school, yeah, we have about 600. School. Yeah, I so know, that's amazing. great. So if you want to bring another thing, or if you haven't brought in something yet, we would love for you to be able to do that to support NJHS in that effort and our Kyrene Family Resource Center. Nice job. T-shirts, I love our brand new T-shirts. Yes. And we have so far ordered over 100 of these. And we are excited. I think there's just another day or two, April 11th. So. By today, tomorrow, the, I think they've extended. The 13th, by the yep. We 13th. extended till Wednesday, so okay, it's going to be till Wednesday. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, friends, bring your money, bring your order forms in. At that point, we will close orders because we have to send them to the company and they have to print them and bring them to us. So, I'm excited. Um, it will be so fun to get these brand new t shirts. And remember, soon you can wear these on Friday for Spirit Day. So, if you are wondering, gee, can I? Yes, you can. So, Yay. get those orders in. All right. I think with that, let's check. Oh, no, I have one more announcement I almost forgot about. Let me pull it back up. I want to remind our middle school friends, you need to get your tickets in advance. I know everybody's so excited about the 80s dance first KTA middle school dance that we're going to have Friday, April 29th, six to eight. Awesome DJ photo booth, everything, but we need to know in advance who is coming. So that means you need to buy your tickets ahead of time. You could buy them today if you, if you are ready and you know that you want to go. So it's $10 Ven mode to KTA PTO, or you can bring $10 cash to teacher or to bring a check. Um, but what that ticket gets you is two slices of pizza, chips, water, and PTO. TO is also going to be selling candy, soda, and some other items as well. And I know some students were wondering what to wear. So you can dress like the 80s. Maybe moms or dads, grandmas and grandpas can help you with some fun ideas. Or you can wear a uh, free dress, some nice clothes. Now, you can wear torn jeans that I know is a question that I've gotten from some students. So yes, you can, as long as it's school appropriate. So those tears have to be like from the knee down, so not too high up and uh, no teeny tiny spaghetti straps for girls. It has to be school appropriate, but you do have some leeway there and you have some opportunity to be creative and wear some nice clothes that you'd like to uh, like to wear for that special event. I'm so excited we haven't had a dance for middle school in a really long time. Yes, yes, I'm excited too. All right, friends. Well, I think that brings us to our moment of inspiration brought to you by one of my amazing student assistants. That is going to be followed by our KTA Tiger Pledge and the Pledge of Allegiance. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Go Hello, Tigers! Tiger. Thank you.